Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today I will be checking out an app called Command E. This is an application that essentially allows you to type using your PC or Mac and essentially like Spotlight on Mac it will help you find specific things that are not just available locally on your PC or Mac but also available on the cloud. I'll be doing a bit of a first impressions overview of it today as a way that you could use it uh, on a daily basis. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Woven. Here's a little bit more about them. So this month's sponsor is Woven. It is great to have them back as a sponsor. If you don't know what Woven is, it's a powerful calendar and scheduling application. It's actually my go-to calendar application and helps me schedule the majority of my meeting. Features include the likes of scheduling tools to be able to organize those meetings, whether they're group ones or individual, multi-calendar support, video conferencing for connecting apps like Zoom, and templates for saving you time with those routine meetings. You can get Woven for free in the description below and check out more. A huge thanks to Woven for coming on as a sponsor. So I'm here on the Command E website, getcommande.com. I'll include the links in the description below. And as it says, it's available on PC and Mac and very simply allows you to essentially connect up your cloud applications, everything from G Suite all the way to Slack, allow you to bring them up pretty easily. They've got a fair few integrations with it. And to be fair, the setup wasn't actually too complicated. So here I have a bit of a blank screen and you're probably wondering how do you get up Command E? It says it in the name, Command E, and you can bring it up. It's sort of like a bit of a control center. If you compare it to say, Command Space with the spotlight search, um, let's just bring them up next to each other. You can see they're slightly different, mainly because Command E comes with all of the information um, that is connected to the accounts. Now I do have another one as well. Here is another one uh, I have used in the past called Alfred 4. It's very similar, very minimal. Actually, it's quite a fast way of just getting access to an application. However, I actually haven't set up some of the full abilities that would replicate something like Command E. So what I'm saying here is there are alternatives to this sort of application on the market. Even more recently, applications have been releasing these like browser apps called like say Shift that allow you to bring together all of the apps that you use on a routine basis in one browser-like application. So I've done two integrations properly. I've integrated G Suite, which is um, my Google Drive, and I've also integrated Evernote as well. You can integrate a whole host of other experiences, including Notion, Slack, ClickUp, Dropbox, Gmail, and lots more. I've actually got Gmail connected as well. To be honest, I thought one of the hardest experience would have been when you get things set up. Like it just potentially could be a little bit complicated with loads of stuff being bombarded to you. However, actually the setup was fairly easy and I was able to get onto the platforms um, and sign into the platforms fairly fast. So the other thing you need to do when you've got Command E set up is you need to download the Command E browser extension, which actually does help you to connect up with an existing application. You can even save certain pages to Command E. For example, if you type in TB and down and enter, it would obviously switch tabs if you were jumping across different devices. Now let's go back to this view here. So let's show you how some of the integrations work. So for example, if I wanted to get into any of my Evernote files, I could type in EN and quickly get ones that I've recently accessed here. I can copy the URLs, I can even hide the records or open them up here too. So let's take a good example. Let's say I wanna open this note up. What it does is it deep embeds or deep links to the actual Evernote note itself. So for example, I've clicked it open. You can see that it loads that up fairly fast, although I did have this one loaded recently to be able to see that. So you can connect it to your G Suite and as you can see here, it's bringing up different um, notes and as you can imagine, because I don't have Google Drive installed, it will bring up the browser edition. So for example, if I went GG Evernote CEO Drive, I have to, actually haven't opened that one up, it actually brings it up fairly fast and as you can see here, it saved it to Command E, which means for the future, it's going to be a lot easier to open that. Now, if I was looking for something in my Notion, I'd have to connect it up. And as I said, the connector is fairly easy. If you go to open Notion, 
So one thing I really like is the ability to get your emails up as well. It works with other applications, I believe, like Superhuman and other such email experiences. I use Tempo, but as you can imagine at the moment, it's probably not connected up with applications like this. But in the future, I can imagine as the popularity gains, it would probably become more useful there. However, if, for example, I wanted to search Gmail for anything with Tempo mentioned, you can see that that comes up here and I can go straight into that email directly through Gmail on the browser. So if I go to settings, this is where I can access all my integrations. You can see that the Evernote, um, my Gmail and my Notion one are set up here, but you can add more, including the likes of Google Chrome, Airtable, Asana Clubhouse, Figma, Greenhouse, OneDrive, and lots more. As you can see, this is a superhuman one. You can use and change the keyboard shortcuts in ways you access. Obviously, you might not want to change Command E because it's quite memorable. And you can set up local directories as well for easy searching. So I actually messaged the team, asked whether they actually had any plans for specifics of pricing, because obviously at the moment it's a free experience. However, they do have plans for pricing for pro and team level, which is good. So it's really interesting, once you actually go into a, an app on your Chrome, you can see here that it started to pull some of the hits on Twitter that I regularly search for or have been on most recently, which is helpful for specifically finding or quickly grabbing uh, people's tweets. So for example, if I typed in Connor White Sullivan, I could enter and go quickly to his address. So this is actually a really fast, reliable way to search inside of your Mac and PC. I'm actually fairly impressed with the design and the abilities of the application. I think that the setup time does obviously, you know, take a little bit of time. I'd probably say if you wanted to set up all of your apps, it's going to take you about 20 minutes. But at the same time, if you're trying to save yourself time from, you know, finding applications or you want to be able to use your keyboard a bit more to search and find specific things on your PC or Mac, then this is going to save you a bit of time. So you'll probably get that time back in a couple of weeks. And I'm guessing over time they're going to use the suggestions a bit more to be able to bring up things that, that may warrant your interest. This could be a pretty interesting app. So guys, that was a review of Commandy. As you can imagine, it's still growing and in its early days, but the team that was on it actually impressed me. So they have a couple of people who are in first round and also the lead product designer for uh, who used to work at Evernote. So their team looks pretty good in terms of experience. So this could be an interesting application from the future. I just want to shout out um, Mike uh, from Otis who actually originally shared this with me uh, probably about a year ago. Definitely took ages to actually get to reviewing it. Um, and also a big thanks to Shu Omi for sort of reminding me that this app exists. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it was useful. Please do let me know in the comments what you think of Commandy and whether you use an application that helps you search faster on your Mac or PC. Anyway, folks, cheerio.